hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys it is a distinction that brooks no difference it is a distinction that brooks no difference and i am speaking of course about apostle johnson suleiman and the witches in nigeria so it is a distinction that really has no difference because of course these two elements all reach to the same source which is a uh, diabolical powers so with that guys i bring you this heal one patient get one thousand dollars which is group challenges apostle suleiman so that's the headline now that uh, we're contending with uh in this video the witches are having a bet are challenging uh, apostle johnson suleiman to a bet so again the headline heal one patient get one thousand dollars which is group challenges apostle suleiman so now let's now see what this bet is all about the advocacy for alleged witches afaw has challenged apostle johnson suleiman of the omega fire ministry Auchi edo state to heal anyone with a confirmed case of c19 and get a thousand dollars from the group recall that afaw had on sunday attacked suleiman for demanding that government should allow pastors into isolation centers to pray and heal c19 patients the group remains saddened by suleiman's message to president Muhammadu buhari's government to allow pastors to heal c19 patients in an article made available the founder of the nigerian humanist movement leo igwe said on tuesday that the group is challenging suleiman to heal not two or three persons not 10 or 15 but just one person with the viral infection he added i am challenging the founder of omega ministry apostle suleiman to demonstrate his so-called gift of healing under agreed medical and scientific conditions i ask suleiman to heal a person with a confirmed case of c19 and get a thousand dollars this challenge has become necessary because apostle suleiman has in a recent video urged the government of nigeria to allow him and other pastors with the gift of healing into the isolation centers so that they could pray and heal those who have the virus this request should not be unattended suleiman specifically said that the gifted pastors could heal 18 out of 20 c19 patients this is a reasonable number isn't it and in a recent tweet apostle suleiman affirmed that his god was bigger than the c virus this challenge is for suleiman to heal not two or three persons not 10 or 15 patients but one person with a viral infection for too long people from various religious traditions have claimed to have the ability to heal all kinds of diseases including malaria diabetes hepatitis and hiv slash aid self-acclaimed gods men and women have organized healing slash prayer sessions where they supposedly got rid of illnesses through faith and prayer this ability if proven to be effective could be an enormous resource at a time like this when the world is trying to contain a vicious pandemic that is ravaging so many parts of the world incidentally faith healing in africa has likely been taken for granted faith healing claims have gone unchallenged and untested there has not been any major effort to hold african faith healers to account or get them to openly and publicly demonstrate the potency and efficacy of their healing propositions under scientific testing conditions the outbreak of c19 offers an ample opportunity to realize this to test and confirm the much avowed healing gifts and abilities of pastors so i hereby challenge apostle suleiman 
to prove that he can heal C-19 patients through prayers. Apostle Suleiman will get 1,000 US dollars for any proven case of faith healing of a C-19 patient under agreed scientific conditions. Suleiman should agree to pay for a C-19 patient from wherever he is since going into isolation centers without face masks and personal protective equipment is not medically permitted and would violate existing laws and regulations. After all, Jesus performed miracles at a distance. John 4 verses 46 to 54, didn't he? And also the Bible enjoins believers to pray in secret and that the prayer would be answered Matthew 6:6 6, 6. so it is not necessary for apostle Suleiman or any gifted pastor to get into the isolation centers before they could pray and heal any C19 patient besides Suleiman should consider this a standing challenge which he could accept after the vaccine has been discovered and regulations on managing C19 infection have been relaxed. Otherwise, I challenge Suleiman to heal an HIV slash AIDS patient through prayers and take home a thousand dollars. HIV is another viral infection that is killing many people in Nigeria and across the world. Apostle Suleiman should use this window to demonstrate under medical and scientific conditions his supernatural gift of healing. He should show Nigerians and the rest of the world that his God is truly bigger than a virus, whether it is C-19 or HIV. I hope that Apostle Suleiman or any other gifted pastor accepts this challenge and sees this opportunity to demonstrate the potency and efficacy of faith healing. So now this is uh, 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 this this is something that needed to happen is how I'm going to start this because 419 preacher man preacher man 419 this is really what is going on in Nigeria and really broadly across across the especially West African sub region these people are no more than uh, uh, fraud stars a lot of these people oh my god has said oh blah 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 the blada oh bleedy 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 and then empty the content of your purse and, and your wallet into my bank account these people are scammers these people are scammers and there is nobody there is nobody that has been able to stand as a testimony to the efficacy of uh, these people's uh, alleged supposed gift. Let me cite you exactly what these people do. So they have a congregation that gathers of about 10,000 people, a thousand people, even sometimes hundreds of thousands of people. And then they speak to that uh, congregation that, oh, my God has told me that somebody in this congregation, let's use 10,000. So they say, oh, uh, my God has told me that somebody in this congregation, a congregation, by the way, of 10,000 people, a gathering, uh, 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 a meeting of 10,000 people, that, oh, my God has told me that somebody in this gathering will get a breakthrough uh, before the end of the week so now look at that so let's remove what that person has said from this uh equation and then just look at the numbers so you have a congregation of ten thousand people amongst those ten thousand people uh you have uh students sitting, sitting exams you have applicants applying for jobs you have uh, businessmen applying for contracts you have people praying for the fruit of the womb. You have expectant mothers looking to, to deliver. You have a whole garment of expectations. So out of that whole garment of expectations of these 10,000 people, there's uh, an absolute certainty that 
not one, not two, but countless numbers of those expectations will come through. So the student that is sitting exams would pass that exams. Uh, the uh, out of the thousand or so P contractors that are bidding for contracts, at least ten of them will get that contract. Also, the expectant uh, women that are looking for the fruit of the womb, there's a good possibility that in the course of that week, at least ten of them will get pregnant. Outside of that, uh, uh, my daddy told me, uh, the Lord told me, and whatever. So this is just a statistical fact. So when these things then happen, these people are then brought to the uh, fore, to the forecourt of that uh, uh, gathering of that church the next week to say, come and give testimony. They say, ah, daddy said so, that I've been chasing this contract for... Uh, X amount of years, so uh, uh, no X amount of months, so, or X amount of weeks, so I have been fretting over these exams for this, that, and the other. I have been uh, praying for the fruit of the womb for you know. So they come and give all those testimonies, but you that you were chasing the contract, you know that you put in a strong bid, and you know that you padded that bid by uh, bribing the PA of the decision maker and that is what got you the contract. You that you were uh, sweating over the exams, you know when you were sweating, you were doing night shift with uh, coffee and, uh, uh, and candle reading your books and that is how you passed your exams. So you that you were after the fruit of the womb, you know that uh, your husband has not let you rest every single day, maybe three, four times a day, plus the doctor that is giving you drugs. And that is really, you, you know, so a lot of these things are natural happenstances, natural occurrences of life. And because of the statistical data of mass that they have, there's a high preponderance that a lot of these things would happen and they only need one example to say that come forward i prayed last week and this happened to you i said one person in this space uh, would have this experience and you had the experience so then come give a narration of that experience then off the back of the testimonies of these people that come forward that ten thousand uh, congregation will turn into 20,000 congregation and the people who were expectant but did not get will think, ah, it is because when they were asking for tithes and offering, I did not put anything in. It is because uh, when they were asking for uh, uh, monies for the coffers of the church, I did not put anything in. So the following week, they will eagerly put, not just for that week, for the week that they, they missed and then they'll be doing fasting so it is a it is a scam that these people are running and this scam of course is never tested and therefore they get away with it because hope is really what these people sell to the uh, desperate people especially in a desperate region like especially the west african sub-region so when all possibilities become difficult the improbable becomes possible so this is what they are really selling to the people they are really trading on hope uh it's a magic trick they call it a snake oil salesman in america a bracadabra trick now you see it now you don't it is really there but it isn't boju boju babi mag babi and all this kind of nonsense this is really what all these chances are doing so now the witches in nigeria are now challenging this uh apostle uh johnson suleiman frontally because of course is the fine boy of the nigerian pastorpreneurs they, they have a term for them now they call them pastorpreneurs not entrepreneurs but pastorpreneurs robbing you in the name of god so he they now have a frontal challenge to this guy that's saying okay you are, and he's going to escape it by is either going to ignore this challenge from the witches or he's going to come up with his uh, blah 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 that i rebuke it uh, they have come to challenge me he probably used them again to make even more money but he's never going to go and uh, pray in under scientific conditions for then uh people to then test the potency of his prayers against uh, the gift that is uh, claiming that he has. But then, of course, the challenge has now been put in place by these people because a lot of these people are getting away with blue murder, 
within the African space especially and globally as well because this happens a lot in uh, America as well. So this is not just an African uh, problem. It happens even in Asia as well because uh, a lot of uh, Asian countries, Malaysia, all this Indonesia and what not, they are starting to have these experiences as well and these experiences of course are led by Nigerian pastors too. So these pastorpreneurs now are now being challenged frontally so where where is uh why don't you then do that fasting on prayer and call on god now to end that c19 today today i and i'm sure the god that you are following he doesn't want his people to to die needlessly we don't know the will of god who are we to even understand the workings of god but if you are saying that you have all this potency put that potency now to test now uh with uh uh, a willing subject matter which is this c19 now that we're contending with is effectively what the witches in uh nigeria are saying to the pastorpreneurs and i for one align myself with that challenge not with the witches but with that challenge so put your money on the table put your uh, bluff to the test Put all this abracadabra thing on that now scientific condition and let us see now exactly what you people are saying. But of course, they will all run and hide. Uh, conversations in the comment section, the witches are challenging the pastors, the pastorpreneurs. Uh, what says you? Where do you weigh? I'm not asking you to weigh on the side of the witches, of course, but I am asking where you weigh in this particular challenge that these people, these pastorpreneurs, should go under scientific uh, conditions and put this gift that they allegedly claim for themselves uh, to the test under scientific conditions. So, uh, scientific conditions will define you know the conditions that are uh, is uh, situated and then these so-called gifted people that are pastorpreneurs can then change that scientifically uh defined conditions with their faith healing or whatever it is their whatever abracadabra abracadabra tricks that they feel they have this is really what we need to see now within the nigerian space because we are now at that point come share thoughts conversations in the comment section i want to know what you're thinking but before you come join me to share thoughts click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me what you're making of this 419 uh pastors and the challenge from the ajay people the oshos in the nigerian space in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry on this conversation with you in the comment section but here i say